Assalamu alaikum. How is everyone? I hope all of you are safe and healthy at your homes. My name is Harim Khalid and I am from Westridge branch. Welcome back to another English lesson. Today, as you can see, we are going to do some worksheets related to personal pronouns. For this, things you are going to need are SLS English worksheet workbooks, pencil, eraser, and a sharpener. So as we did the concept earlier, this time, let's recall first. A pronoun is a word that replaces a noun in a sentence. Personal pronoun replaces a particular person, group or thing in a sentence. Subject pronoun does the action in a sentence. Object pronoun receives the action in a sentence. Now, okay, so now open up your SLS worksheet workbooks, page number 14 and worksheet number 10. Write down today's date and day in the given spaces. Let's look at question number one. Use the given pronoun to complete Peter's description of his family. The pronoun to be used are given in the box that is we, he, she, they, I, us and it. Let's start now. Hello, my name is Peter. Dash live in a city with my mother, father and two sisters. My father is a doctor. Dash works very hard. Now if you look in this question, Hello, my name is Peter. Dash live in a city with my mother, father and two sisters. In this blank, the boy is talking about himself. So when you're talking about yourself, which personal pronoun you're going to use? I. Yes. So I live in a city with my mother, father and two sisters. My father is a doctor. Dash works very hard. So now in this blank, the boy is talking about his father and father is a male person. So which personal pronoun is going to come at this place? He. Very good. My mother is a lawyer but Dash works only part time. My sisters and Dash try to help our parents as much as Dash can. My sister help in the kitchen. Dash wash and dry dishes. Dash make my own bed and keep my room tidy. Dash have a cat called Ginger. Dash has lived with Dash for a long time. Now you are going to keep on completing the whole exercise as this is your homework. Let's move on to question. Use suitable personal pronouns to complete the story. Okay, so now we have a story. A story about students discussing their holiday plans with their teacher. Let's find out what they are up to. The children were sharing their holiday plans with their teacher Miss Lee. Dash ask Dash where Dash were going for their holiday. So in this sentence, if you look closely, the children were sharing their holiday plans with their teacher, Miss Lee. So who is asking? Miss Lee. So she is a female. So which personal pronoun is going to come at this place? She. Very good. So she asked whom now? children right and they are in a multiple number so which personal pronoun is going to come at this place she asked them very good she asked them where they were going for their holiday now you will continue doing the whole exercise <clears throat> accordingly now let's move on to Next page, page number 15, worksheet number 11. Write down today's date and day in the spaces given. Now let's look at question number 1. Add a personal pronoun to complete the sentences. Again, in this question, they have given you all the personal pronouns that are going to be used. They, he, you, I, we, it and she. Now make sure you know which personal pronoun is used which, with which type of noun. Let's look at the first statement. The bird sat on a branch. Dash had a worm in its beak. 
bird belongs to which category of noun animals and for animals we use which pronoun it so the bird sat on a branch it had a worm in its beak john was not happy dash had a bad cold john is a boy so which personal pronoun is going to replace john he john was not happy he had a bad cold and you are going to continue doing the whole exercise like this now let's look at question number 2 add a suitable personal pronoun to complete the sentences now look closely in this question we have to add all the object pronouns the object pronouns to be used are it him us them her me and you now look let's look at statement number 1 Linda is my friend. She sits next to Dash. So Linda is my friend. She sits next to me. Very good. Sajid's shirt was a mess. He had torn Dash. So Sajid's shirt was a mess. What is the thing that is a mess? Shirt. So we replace his shirt with it. Very good. So Sajid's shirt was a mess. He had turned it. Alright, so now these are the answers for you to check whether you have done the worksheet correctly or not. Look carefully and check your answers. Alright, Bachu, so this brings us to an end. I hope you will be able to complete all the worksheets at home. Do make sure you are doing it firstly on your own and then you can check it from the answers. Till next time, take care. Allah Hafiz.